2020 virtual graduation ceremony with the Anchorage School District and Chugach High School. Hello Mustangs and welcome to the Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. It's my pleasure to celebrate the Class of 2020 with you today. To the Class of 2020, wow, it has been an unforgettable year, but you made it. And so graduates, as you look back and think, the last 13 years I want you to remember are just a snippet of your life. And these last nine weeks are going to be just a quick but unforgettable blink. I know that that'll happen because your future will be amazing. You've earned this day and deserve to celebrate all you have done that got you here. School plays an essential part of who you are today and who you'll become tomorrow, but your strength and resilience are yours alone. We've taught you the curriculum needed to earn a diploma, but you guys have learned so much more than content. Through your experiences, you figured out when to work hard and when to practice self-care, when to log in, when to take a nap. You've learned when to trust and when to be wary, when to lend a hand and when to ask for help. And you've learned so much in your life already, and the exciting thing is that this is just the beginning. For some of us, I think you thought this day would never come. And for some of you, you can't believe that it's already here. But I do think it's safe to say that all of us wish we were celebrating together. But take heart, Mustangs. You've still earned this distinction no matter what the ceremony looks like. It's not the cap and gown that makes you a graduate. It's not the big ceremony at the Sullivan Arena. COVID-19 may have taken those things from you, but it can't take away the 13 years of studying, recess, clubs, sports, tests, essays, friends, teachers, laughter, all the things that make the school experience real. And it can't take away your diploma. So take a moment and reflect on all you've accomplished and learned along the way. Reflect on the person that you were back then, the person that you are now, and the person that you wanna be. Reflect on how you've grown in the last few months and how you'll continue to grow into the person you were meant to be. Robert Burns once said, the best laid plans of mice and men often go awry. And it's important that we remember that. Just because we wanna have things a certain way, doesn't mean we always get what we want. So we have to adapt. We have to change our plan. Because life isn't what happens when you make plans. Um, it's something that develops over time. It's the expected and the unexpected. And it's yours. And you get to be the designer of your life. You've already built a tremendous foundation for your future, and you get to build the life that you want, no matter what the unexpected actions. It's your path, so face the days ahead and trust yourself. You have the tools to adapt. And today is not the last day that you'll be a Mustang, and March 6th was not the last day either. It's not the building that makes you a Mustang. It's your spirit, your pride, and your accomplishment. I also wanna share that you have one unforgettable faculty member that's graduating with you this year. Our own iconic Mr. G has decided to trade in his security badge after 27 years. He just can't imagine a CHS without you, and neither can I. We miss you already and wish we could have sent you off in the traditional manner, but one thing we know is that we will never forget the class of 2020. Graduates, it's been my pleasure to watch you grow into the young adults that you are. Thank you for allowing me to be a small part of your journey. I'm honored to be the principal at Chugiak High School, and I look forward to watching you make your mark on the world. Hello, and welcome to the Chugiak High School commencement ceremony. My name is Aiden Duran, and I am honored to have served as your class president and to be here representing you, my class of 2020. What a crazy turn of events has led us to this moment. And I'd like to give a big thanks to all the people working hard in our district to give us the closest thing they can to a graduation. While it may seem that the time you spent in, Chug in school and at Chugiak will forever shape the direction you choose to go in, it doesn't have to. In the grand scheme of things, the four years, well, three and three quarters if you want to be technical, is nothing but a drop in the bucket for what our lives have in store for us. You do not have to define yourself by who you were and what you did during your adolescence. Maybe you were a band member or a club president. Maybe you played on every varsity sport you could fit in your schedule. Maybe you forewent school activities and instead opted for an after school job. Maybe you did none of those things and simply occupied your time doing something that you enjoyed besides school. No school experience is more valid than another and in a way that's the beauty of it. We were also there stuck in traffic on the way to school on those icy mornings when school probably should have been canceled. We were all there when the 2018 earthquake rocked our state and kept us home for a week. We're all here now, finishing the remainder of our senior year online. 
Our experiences are all shared on some form because of our time spent at Chugiak and in our community at large. This proximity to one another is the binding force that our relationships are built on. Without this proximity holding us together, we are free to explore and grow away from what you have known to be the norm. Growth is a natural part of maturing. Our friends now might not be our friends in a year's time, but that doesn't discount the memories you made together. I encourage you to try new things, to partake in new experiences, and to allow yourselves to further develop into who you want to be. The world is your oyster, and I pray that none of you have an allergy to shellfish. Hello, I am Kirstina Manwaring, the 2020 Chugiak High School valedictorian, and I am excited to be able to speak with you today. I have envisioned this moment a lot in the past year, and in all my wildest imaginations, I never would have thought that it would be like this. We have spent the last 13 years of our lives working towards this moment. It may not be what we pictured, and you may be sitting on your couch in your cap and gown instead of sitting on an uncomfortable chair in the Sullivan Arena, but either way, we did it. It will take more than a worldwide pandemic to beat us. On the plus side, in 20 years from now, you won't have to regret what you wore to your high school graduation. I'm definitely no expert on real life, but seeing as we are all about to be sent into it, I figured I will share a few things I have learned that may or may not make life a little easier. First, the mitochondria is not just the powerhouse of the cell. It does a lot more than that. Second, even though it may sound cheesy, be true to yourself and be who you are. Follow your own path and not someone else's. Unless, of course, you're lost in the woods and you find a path. In that case, please follow that path because the woods can be scary at night, especially when you're lost. Next, it doesn't matter how smart you think you are or how much you think you deserve something. What really matters is how hard you worked. Just look at how working hard turned out for Mulan. She saved all of China from the Huns. I guess the moral of that story is to work hard and also make friends with a mini dragon and a lucky cricket. Next, never stop learning. There is always more to learn, whether it be from a teacher, your parents, a book or movie, a friend, or even a total stranger. You never know where you may learn something important life lessons. For example, if it hadn't been for Dora, I probably never would have known how to introduce myself in Spanish class on the first day of kindergarten. So learn everything you can and use your knowledge to grow and better yourself. Finally, be positive, especially now. The way I see it, there are two things we can do. We can either sulk and complain about all the things we missed out on, or we can be positive and find a bright side. Either way, we are still stuck in quarantine. I'll be honest, I spent some time mourning the loss of all the senior moments we missed out on, but all that got me was a stuffy nose, puffy eyes, and precious moments wasted. So be happy. Take advantage of your free time. As Master Ugwe said in the cinematic treasure Kung Fu Panda, yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, and today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. So take advantage of the gift that is today. Be yourself, work hard, and be positive. Congratulations, Chugiak High School Class of 2020. We did it.
all the places we will see Reaching out, I'm breathing in the world And every day ahead of us Remembering the dream we had Ready for this moment in our lives We are all right here of 2020. Can I just say one thing? Wow. I'm sure you've all seen the memes pointing out that your lives thus far have been bookended by two of the defining events of modern history. You were born in the days following 9-11, and today you graduate in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. Not to mention that your high school careers also saw Chugiak High School survive bridge apocalypse and a 7.1 earthquake. It would be great if you could talk to the class of 2021 and tell them to take it down a few notches. I don't think anyone expected our century's roaring 20s to start off this way, and no one can say exactly what any of your futures will bring. But for the next few minutes, I'd like to share with you <clears throat> six pieces of advice I borrowed from history, but you never expected that from a history teacher, so that you can go forth and conquer this beautiful, terrifying, unexpected world. Rule number one, do more than just exist. Helen Keller once said that life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. Think of the years ahead of you like one of those choose-your-own-adventure books. The Wright brothers dreamed of flying. Emmeline Pankhurst and Alice Paul struggled to gain women the right to vote. Jonas Salk labored to free humanity from polio. Walt Disney sought to make life a little more magical. Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. envisioned a better world. None of that was easy or comfortable. I'm sure it pushed them to their very limits sometimes. That's what good adventures do. Only you can plumb the depths of your soul and find the passion that is going to lead you on your grand adventure. And when you find it, I want you to chase it. I want you to chase it until your heart is pounding and your lungs are straining and you've used up everything you have because that's what you're here on earth to do. So do it. Rule number two, do the hard things, all of them. In his speech at Rice University in 1962, John F. Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because they are hard. Now I'll be the first to admit that sitting on my couch playing Animal Crossing or binging Netflix might be pleasant. FYI, we all get a free pass during this hunker down period. But no amount of screen time is going to count as a defining accomplishment in any of our lives. 
It's the hard things, the things that scare the bejesus out of you that truly matter. Falling in love, graduating from high school or trade school or college, climbing that mountain, running that marathon, getting on stage for that performance, having that baby, although maybe save that last one for a few years. I want you all to travel the world, go to the moon, build a career doing something you're passionate about, do all the things that other people say you could never do. More on that to come. Rule number three, if you're going to fail, fail grandly. Some of you may know that Theodore Roosevelt is my favorite president. Let's be honest, I'd stalk him if he was still alive. One of my favorite of his quotes came before his bid for re-election in 1912 when he was speaking about failure. At the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. Side note, Roosevelt did lose that election. It's rough being a third party candidate. So yes, I want you to find a worthy cause and dare greatly to do the hard things and be the person in that arena that Roosevelt was referring to, whose face is marred with sweat and dust and blood. I want you to aspire to great and mighty things and then I want you to fail. I want you to fail with all the gusto of Harry Potter and Ron Weasley uh, crashing their flying car into the Whomping Willow. Because honestly, winning is fun, but we learn the most when we have to pick ourselves up and dust ourselves off before trying again. Because that's what really shapes and defines our character. Which brings us to the next rule. Rule number four, don't be afraid to fail. But that doesn't mean you should invade Russia in the winter either unless you're Genghis Khan, of course. Think things through, my friends. Some of, you've made, some of you may have read Into the Wild based on the true story where Christopher McCandless decided to tramp his way into the wilds of Denali with only a bag of rice to eat. Spoiler alert, he died. Do not be Christopher McCandless. Do not be Napoleon or the Axis powers and invade Russia when winter is coming. Instead, be a good boy scout or girl scout. Do the hard things, but be prepared. Rule number five, be Rasputin. Some of you may be familiar with Rasputin from the animated movie Anastasia, but I'm talking about the real Mad Monk, who was the unpopular power behind the Russian throne at the turn of the 20th century. You see, during the course of your life, you may discover that your passion isn't popular or that there are people who don't believe in what you want to do with your life. When that happens, be Rasputin. Now, I'm not actually suggesting you be a wandering degenerate who claims to be a holy man. Instead, I'm demanding that when the world tries to get you down, you do the unexpected and don't go down without a fight. You see, the Russian court decided to get rid of Rasputin, so they invited him to the palace and served him wine and cakes laced with cyanide. Rasputin drank not one, not two, but three glasses of poisoned wine. No reaction. So a noble grabbed a revolver and shot Rasputin three times, including in the head and the heart but he didn't die. Side note, they eventually threw Rasputin into the Nevka River where his body was finally found. I mean, no one's totally invincible. So, be Rasputin, sans the drowning. Be formidable and give this life everything you've got. Rule number six, the last rule, never, 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 never give up and reach out a hand to help each other. Winston Churchill offered that message when Britain was emerging from the catastrophic blitz that dropped 45,000 short tons of bombs on the country and nearly brought it to its knees. If that number is hard to fathom, imagine a dartboard that represents England. Now throw 9,000 darts at the board and aim most of them at the bottom. That was the blitz. Yet the Brits put their heads down, helped each other take shelter, kept calm, and carried on. No matter what you're going through, don't give up. Remember that obstacles are not there to make you feel like life isn't fair. They are there to test you, to see how hard you're willing to work for the things that matter. So reach out a hand when you need it, take someone else's when you can, and carry on one day at a time. There's so much more that I want to tell you, but my time is up, and yours is just beginning. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you much success, a few failures, and many daring adventures in the days and years and decades to come. Now go out and conquer the world. Dr. Bishop, the record of each and every student has been carefully examined, and as the principal of Chugiak High School, I verify that each one of the students before you has met the credit requirements for graduation from the Anchorage School District. It is with pleasure and pride that I present to you the members of the Chugiak High School graduating class of 2020. As superintendent of the Anchorage School District, I accept the class of 2020 from Chugiak High. And to our school board, I now present them to you Chugach High School, Class of 2020, go Mustangs! On behalf of the Anchorage School District School Board, I am proud to accept the Chugach High School, Class of 2020. Congratulations. Nathan Albanese. 
Thaddeus Altioc, Angela Amberg Cumlati, Megan Anschutz, Griffin Arnold, Tess Baez Terry, Spanish Immersion, Seal of Biliteracy. Layla Beam, Summa Cum Laude, Spanish Immersion, National Honor Society, Senior Project, Seal of Biliteracy. Max Bayer Grossline, Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy. Michael Belmere, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy. Zion Bennett. Scott Betson. Matthew Biggs. Corbin Black. Reagan Blackley, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Joshua Bonetta, cum laude. Isaiah Bookbinder, magna cum laude. Ryan Boxler. Lee Boylan. Amber Brady, magna cum laude, National Honor Society. Lauren Bransky. Hayden Brivogel. Liam Bryan, cum laude, National Honor Society, World Discovery Seminar. Libby Brown. Ramiro Barney. Walton Buck. Kaylee Byers. Colin Caldwell. Joshua Cardin, summa cum laude. Avery Carlos, cum laude, National Honor Society. Cody Carlson. Abigail Carruthers, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy. Henley Karstensen. Micah Caseza, Seal of Biliteracy, Spanish Immersion, National Honor Society. Marilee Chaperone, National Honor Society. Tristan Chavez. Ella Childress, Spanish Immersion, Senior Project, Seal of Biliteracy. Mackenzie Clark, World Discovery Seminar. Caleb Co. Ashley Cook, Seal of Biliteracy, Spanish Immersion. Daniel Cook. Hayden Cook. Jason Copper, Summa Cum Laude. Hannah Kreider, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Student Government, Senior Project. Maya Davidson, Spanish Immersion, World Discovery Seminar, Seal of Biliteracy. Dakota Davis. Brianna Day, Seal of Biliteracy. Madison Day. Joanna DeBusk. Derek DeCleva, cum laude. Logan Dennis. Joshua Diaz, World Discovery Seminar. 
Sebastian Diaz, World Discovery Seminar. Rivers Ducharme. Shai Dunton, Seal of Biliteracy. Aiden Duran, Cum Laude, Student Government, Seal of Biliteracy. Lily Durkee, World Discovery Seminar. Otis Eads. Casper Easterling Busby. Tanner Ebersall. Hayden Edge. Joseph Finkler, Seal of Biliteracy. Emily Fleetwood, World Discovery Seminar. Colt Fogelsong, World Discovery Seminar. Ian Frizzell. Noah Frost, World Discovery Seminar. Riley Fougere. Caitlin Gall. Garrett Gantner. Elikak Gates. Clara Gates. Lindsay Gerlock, Spanish Immersion. Alini Giannoulis, Cum Laude. Jalen Giles. Bodhi Glauser, Cum Laude. Levi Goodwin. Brooklyn Gould. McKinley Gray, World Discovery Seminar. Emily Groth. Kalian Guzman Batista, Seal of Biliteracy. Kennedy Halla. Kayla Hall, Seal of Biliteracy, National Honor Society. Justin Haltum. Chase Heyman. Jasmine Hamby, Seal of Biliteracy. Jade Hansen. Austin Har, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society. Sierra Hatt, World Discovery Seminar. Morgan Hazard. Brandon Henkel, Cum Laude, Seal of Biliteracy. Caleb Hendershot, Magna Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy. Ashley Hicks, Magna Cum Laude, Spanish Immersion, National Honor Society, Student Government, Seal of Biliteracy. Dahlia Hicks. Dylan High. Magdalene Heldon. Chloe Hook. Luke Hoover. Carissa Howard, Senior Project, World Discovery Seminar. Tyler Huffer. Caitlin Hutchison. Grace Eigel, Senior Project. Biliami Isaiah Eden Johnson 
Spanish Immersion, Seal of Biliteracy. Taylor Johnson, Cum Laude, Seal of Biliteracy. Jerry Jonathan. Ashley Jones. Graham Jones. Michael Jones, Seal of Biliteracy. Aaron Jocelyn. Bethany Kessler. Chan Kang. Tony Kang. Jaden Kanak. William Knutson, Seal of Biliteracy, Spanish Immersion. Brett Kruna, Summa Cum Laude. Janessa Labonte, Magna Cum Laude, National Honor Society. Caleb Latier. Joseph Lurch. Aliyah Lewis. Reagan Lindbergh. Samantha Llewellyn, Seal of Biliteracy. Owen Luke, Cum Laude, World Discovery Seminar. Shannon Luna, Spanish Immersion. Mayana Mad. Billy Mann, World Discovery Seminar. Christina Manwaring, Summa Cum Laude, Valedictorian, Spanish Immersion, National Honor Society, Senior Project, Seal of Biliteracy. Rhett Metters. Tiana Milak. Chase Miller. Luke Momblo, Spanish Immersion. Anna Moltcom. Autumn Moore. Jaden Moore. Reina Moore, Summa Cum Laude. Mariah Morse. Abigail Muir, World Discovery Seminar. Jonah Murphy, Student Government. Titus Murphy, Cum Laude. Joshua Myers. Hunter Neal. Justin Neal, National Honor Society. Hiram Nelson, Summa Cum Laude, National Honor Society. Justin Nevels, Seal of Biliteracy, National Honor Society. Theodore Nichols, Cum Laude, Spanish Immersion, Seal of Biliteracy. Daniel Nebels, Cum Laude, Spanish Immersion, Seal of Biliteracy. Trenton Nosker. Emmy Newman, Summa Cum Laude, Senior Project, Seal of Biliteracy. Corin Nyren. Joshua O'Connor. Haley Olds. Isabella Olmos, World Discovery Seminar. Jacob Oshesky. Kayla Pardon. 
Jared Parks, cum laude, senior project, seal of biliteracy. Catherine Paul, National Honor Society. Chayton Payne, Spanish Immersion, World Discovery Seminar. Mariah Parrish, Magna Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Senior Project, Seal of Biliteracy. Jennifer Peterson. Logan Petronovich. Aliyah Flager. Margaret Pierce, summa cum laude, salutatorian, National Honor Society, student government. Rachel Pauley. Sean Price, World Discovery Seminar. Adriana Prophet, World Discovery Seminar, Seal of Biliteracy. Charles Purcell, Spanish Immersion. Victoria Rambo Faith Rockhorst Abby Rains, Magna Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Student Government Jared Richards Morgan Richards, Cum Laude Diane Rios Vanessa Rizzo Evelyn Rodriguez Brian Ruvalcaba Justin Sanders Alyssa Saylor, National Honor Society, Student Government, Senior Project. Ellie Scherferis. Clint Schultesek, Student Government, Seal of Biliteracy. Carissa Schwartz, Magna Cum Laude, Seal of Biliteracy. Miles Scott. Melissa Seal Chastity Selden Joshua Severson, Magna Cum Laude, Seal of Biliteracy Danielle Shu Jack Simpson Colton Sinneris David Singley Callie Smedley, Cum Laude Sarah Smith Michael Sorensen Jeffrey Sporsik Mariah Stepiton Stephanie Stoltenberg Logan Stovall Kaylin Stewart Mason Stiles Giovanna Tina, Magna Cum Laude, Seal of Biliteracy Natalie Thomas, Magna Cum Laude, Seal of Biliteracy Allison Trillet Baglina Trotter, Magna Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy Zaid Tyson, World Discovery Seminar. Mitchell Van Dyke, Seal of Biliteracy, Spanish Immersion. Tasuki Vang. Shamil Ventura.
Amir Vu. Kalia Vu. Ellen Wallace. Francis Wanick, summa cum laude, Spanish Immersion, National Honor Society, Seal of Biliteracy. Veronica Wanner, World Discovery Seminar. Queso Real, Washington. Kaylin Wasson. Jeremiah Watson. Kimwell Watson. Clayton Webb. Robert Weber, cum laude. Savannah Waddell. Cassidy Weitzel, magna cum laude, World Discovery Seminar. Jessica White, cum laude. Liam White. Salem White, Seal of Biliteracy. Craig Willman, cum laude. Quentin Wilson. Tyler Winborg. Trinity Wood. Dacry Wright, Senior Project. Savannah Young, Magna Cum Laude, National Honor Society, Student Government, Senior Project, Seal of Biliteracy. Julia Abramson, Sweden. Carletta Casu, Italy. World Discovery Seminar, Seal of Biliteracy. Kasmir Dobes, Czech Republic. Yaitha Exposito Toro, Spain. Enrique Osis Gonzalez, Spain. Victoria Marinova, Bulgaria. Kasuki Nakamura, Japan. Alice Marie Gabrielle Ohms, Germany. Risa Otani, Japan. Pornapot Pirakitkosen, Thailand. Eva Genevieve A. Pirlet, Belgium. Simon Devader, Belgium. My name is Maggie Pierce, and I am honored to speak today as Chugiak High School's Class of 2020 Salutatorian. It ends in the middle of a sentence. I've heard that phrase many times before, concerning major events, relationships, and even life itself. Allegedly, these things end simply and suddenly, accompanied only by the closure we carve out for ourselves. If there was ever a point in my life in which this felt true, it would be now. However, as a self-proclaimed punctuation enthusiast, I have always loathed this proverb. Sentences are meant to be completed, and in between the first and final words, we have a handful of punctuation to accessorize them with. Commas, apostrophes, colons, quotation marks, in order to ensure our utterances are distinct and accurate. With so much work poured into our sentences, we owe it to ourselves to finish them, don't you think? A sentence is framed by its punctuation. Hence why we don't stop in the middle of one. I've always been impartial to the semicolon, which is no secret. Semicolons serve as the bridge between two similar but distinguishable clauses that belong together. I love them because they simulate an end rather than signify one. They serve to delineate, not separate. This very semicolon is what allows us not to end in the middle of a sentence, but to dwell there. Perhaps it is easier than ever for the separation to manifest. For some of us, graduation is our largest accomplishment to date, but we are apart rather than together. 
Yet this is not the termination of our time together, nor is it the continuation. It's the transition between our most recent life experiences and the ones nearest in the future. It's our very own semicolon. And outside of this instance, we're surrounded by them. Semicolons are the six feet we spare those around us, the face masks we don in public, and the phone and video calls we frequent instead of spending time in each other's company. They do not symbolize the challenges we are forced to entail, but the triumph we feel overcoming them. I have a plethora of semicolons in my back pocket today as well. Although I cannot directly address most of you, I am joined by Aidan Duran and Kirstina Manwaring, two of the best people I know thanks to Chugiak. I am graduating as your salutatorian, an honor I share with my very own mother, who graduated far before I was even a thought. This instance in time intrinsically connects me to all three of them, despite the circumstances. So today, I encourage you not to fixate on what you have lost in these past few months, but what you have gained in these last few years at Chugiak. Our time together may be finished, but it is far from over. So salute from your salutatorian. Congratulations, and thank you once again. It's been a wild ride. Will the class of 2020 please rise? Please move your tassel from right to left to signify that you have graduated. Congratulations to Gag High School Class of 2020. You've earned it. <laughs>